It's tutorial time. Yay. What is this tutorial gonna be about? Well, I don't know, but you do because you saw the title and clicked on it. Um, so I'm gonna look at the comments and figure out what to do. So uh, apparently you guys really like my stylized builds and, and you really wanna know how to make stylized looking stuff. So what I'm gonna do is look up my most recent comment. And this guy, this guy says to make a stylized building or how to make stylized houses. I can do that. I can show you how to do that because I know how to do that. Easy. So I'm gonna be showing you how I made this. I already finished the build. I, I have like a speed build recorded of me making this and I'll be showing you how I did it. And I'm telling you, making this kind of stuff is fun. It's really fun. And it really does not look like Roblox, which is the best part. It doesn't even look like Roblox and it looks really, really stylized and cool looking. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I did it. All right, now though in Roblox Studio, let's start. But before we do anything in Roblox Studio, we gotta find us a reference, something to replicate for this tutorial. Where do I get my reference? I get it from Pinterest, that's how I spell it, Pinterest.com, get it from there. So anyway, this is my Pinterest, just anime drawings and actual like uh, houses that are stylized because I made my Pinterest act like that by searching both of those things. Okay, so anyways, what we're gonna look up is stylized houses and maybe that will be good you can see the first reference right here the very first image is the one i replicated Bruh. as a reference because because I, I listen listen i copied this because i can't think of something on the spot i don't know what to make so i just copied this as my reference and that's what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial shush i don't want to hear so i'm just gonna scroll through and just try to find something i'm gonna replicate that won't take too long for this tutorial all right i'm gonna be showing you how to make these kinds of buildings the previous building i showed you was more like a medieval looking house this one i'm gonna do like a fun colorful looking building so i'll be showing you how to make this now going back to roblox studio if i'm gonna be completely honest making these stylized buildings it's mostly done outside of roblox studio so i'm actually gonna start this build in a drawing program clip studio paint and you can use any other drawing program any little program that you use yeah so anyways i gotta start with a base of the actual building so if you see like this building you can see these weird looking painting strokes there's also this build for example you can see the base of the building is painting strokes so let's try to replicate that so yeah here's a speed paint of me making that the painting strokes this is not that complicated you're just doing different values of like an up and down painting strokes that's all it is so it's not that complicated and you can just watch the speed paint to get an idea if you're lost or something but yeah it's not too hard it's really not and then boom just something like that easy i just color picked from the reference and then i just did different strokes of different values of colors I hope this isn't too complex, but then again, we're making something that doesn't even look like Roblox, so it's gotta be a little confusing. But just follow along. Make something like this. Easy. Now, what I'm gonna do is just press Ctrl U and then just make the saturation completely black and white. And then what I'm gonna do is actually just boost the contrast a bit. There you go. Now it's completely black and white and pretty bright. So you want this. This is what we want. Now let's save it. We don't have to make it seamless either. So file and then save. Now we can go back to Roblox Studio and actually start. Now to make this even interesting, I'm gonna use the material manager thing. So let's click here here and then to material manager click this plus and then add in that material or add in that image that we just made in within color now once you put your texture here just select a part and then click on this button right here to apply the texture and then there you go it looks kind of weird right now what we're gonna do is make it so the pattern is not organic and then just make it bigger and boom this will be our base of our building so I'll just make our general building again this is our reference so let me just get a similar shape to it okay there you go something like that now you can see that already looks like it's been painted on like this part it, like it just looks like it's been painted which is what we want okay what i'm going to do now is just change the the lighting or just not the lighting but it's just the sun position like this part should be in shadow so that's what i'm going to do now you can see here in the reference like there's some nice looking orange colors on this thing so I'm gonna try to replicate that by using a texture. So I have this texture right here that I made, again, in Clip Studio Paint. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it on top of this and then change the studs per tile here, just to make it bigger. Once I have that, now I'm just gonna change the color and make it like that orange kind of color. And then maybe I can add an, another texture onto it. And boom, there you go. That looks pretty good. And it's not exactly a one-to-one -one of, the, of the actual reference, but I'm just doing what I wanna do. Also, I'm just gonna note, there's probably a better way of getting this instead of using like multiple textures. But for this, tutorial i'm just gonna make it simple and just say use textures and stuff anyways now that we have this let's get the actual windows now for this since it's like an asset i'm gonna make it in blender so let's first get the shape of the windows honestly enough said now we just need another speed model or the time lapse of me making the windows um if 
it hasn't been obvious already, you basically do everything outside of Roblox and then just bring it in Roblox Studio. And that's how you get something that looks really good. You really cannot make anything that looks amazing just in Roblox Studio nowadays. Like if you're going to get a nice looking texture, make it outside of Roblox. Of, of course, you're going to have to. And then if you're going to be making an asset, make it in Blender and then texture it in Blender as well and bring it in Roblox Studio, which is what we're doing with this window here. Boom, now we've got the actual objects of the, the whatever's done of the window. Now we're going to texture it in Blender. Now I'm just going to do a speed paint of me texturing this because that's all that's left. I'm just going to copy the reference. Also, I just want to know why do people hate doing smart UV project? I feel like some people are like, that's stupid. That's stupid. Don't do that. But I do it. Let me know why. Okay, that's the window all textured. I'm just gonna do something like that. Not too complex. Now for the now for the closing of the window part. There you go. That's the window closing thing also textured. But again, nothing too crazy. There you go. Now let's just upload this. So we click file and then export it. Also make sure you save your textures. Now we bring these windows into the build and see how they look. Hold up, before I do that, a lot of you guys in my previous video wanted to know where I got my textures from. It's not that complicated. I go to Valorant, the game, and I take a screenshot of like that brick texture. I don't really do this anymore, but... And then after you take your screenshot, just take it to some photo editing software. And then I'm just going to get rid of the like the, the, the other parts that are not in brick because I don't want it. And then after you do that, you're pretty much done. Also, yeah, make sure it's in black and white. Pretty much it. Just upload this. Okay, let's go back to putting this window in our build and do the tutorial. Okay, there you go. Bring it into Roblox Studio. We just paste the windows. Now with these windows over here above, since they're so simple, I'm actually just going to do them in Roblox. I'll just use this base thing that we made as like the material for it and just make it within Roblox. Now at this point, I'm going to just continue to follow the reference. And also, with the lighting, do not touch the lighting. Leave the lighting alone. First, do the actual build, then do the lighting. Do the lighting at the end. The reason you do this is so you don't rely on the lighting. Some people might think, oh, I'm going to have the lighting carry the build. No, that, that's not possible. Don't do that. Have the build carry the build, not the actual lighting. The lighting won't do you anything. So first, do the actual build with the default lighting settings and then after you've done the build then do the lighting okay just trust me on that now at this point i'm just copying the reference no tricks no tutorial really needed just follow what you see in your reference again i'm copying it one to one because for the sake of this tutorial i can't just think of something on the spot i gotta do something that's simple and easy a trick I do with textures when I do stylized stuff. Now one common thing that I do when doing like textures is for example if I want something like this on the edge of this like trim here and now I'm going to try to achieve that with what I already have. So let's say I already have this. What I'm going to do is since it's a texture I'm going to try to make this into this little thing. How do I do that? Let's go to his texture properties and then just mess around with the offset and the studs. So first I'm gonna turn this around. Then I'm just gonna like push this down using the offset. So like I pushed it down, I'm gonna scale this down and then maybe I'll stretch it out a bit, move it to the side with the offset and then boom, just size it down. I just made that big thing into this tiny thing that I can now use for my corner right here, matching the reference. Okay, that's how much I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go further than this, but you get the idea, I, I hope. I really hope you get the idea. Now we're gonna get into the lighting. Again, I didn't touch the lighting at all. It's the default lighting settings, and this is what I have. Now we get into the lighting. Okay, one big thing I realized between the difference in my build, lighting-wise, is that the shadows are so much darker. That's important. You need dark shadows, because that, for some reason, just makes your builds look so much better with lighting. So let's go to lighting, and then we're gonna lower down environment diffuse scale. This really shows our shadows. You can see if I lower it all the way down, the shadows are there. 
So I'm going to lower it down just a bit, just the same amount as you can see in the reference to lower it down. There you go, same amount. Ambient color is the color of the, the shadows, kind of. So like if I raise this a bit, you can see the shadows are slightly red now. And in the reference, I'm going to just say it's slightly orangish because then that will fit with the the rest of the colors. I'm going to get the light point. So it's just hitting this. I'm going to make it invisible. I'm going to make it so it's slightly orange. Also, I'm not going to get I'm not getting a one to one of the reference. I'm just getting the vibe, the similar vibe and kind of similar look to the image. I'm going to lower this down a bit. The brightness. Now I'm going to make the brightness up because over here you can see it's like pretty white. Like the light is really light over here as well. You can see this is pretty light yellow. And mine's not really a light yellow, so let's just increase the brightness. So you can see I increased it, matching it sim more similarly. I'm gonna change the color diffuse top to like a yellowish color. Also, I don't know why like the shadows are like zigzaggy. That's just Roblox being Roblox. Roblox is being crap. That's I can't fix that, which is annoying. There you go. Honestly, that looks really good. I actually pretty really like that. I actually really like that. Nice. Now there's this one thing that I'm realizing. With this shadow over here, you can see it's pretty blue, but with my shadow, it's not. It's like not really blue. What we're gonna do is just put a point light. So just put a point line within the shadow that I want to be blue looking. So let's get that blue color. Okay, there you go. Add in the point lights within the shadows. So like this is without those lights, and this is with those lights. You can see I'm just adding some color to the shadow areas. And this actually made it look 10 times better. This is so good. Now, I'm gonna show you my secret little thing that I do with the edge of every shadow to make it look even better. Watch this. So like in the reference, at the edge of the shadow, there's this slightly like vibrant color on the edge of the shadow, which I'm gonna try to replicate. So you wanna get a surface GUI that has this glow image to it that's white, and then put it at the edge of it. And then since this in a surface GUI, I'm gonna select it and go to properties and make the light influence all the way to one so the image is more shown when within the light and less within the shadow you just want it to be like that now let's get that red color Ooh, look at that i love that so much okay now i'm gonna do that everywhere else and that's pretty much it let me do like a quick recap here so like first put in the point lights within the shadows to add color to them and then Add in the color within the edge of the shadows using the surface GUI stuff. And then lastly, I didn't really cover this, but I just learned this as I was doing this. Put like this rough texture on the edge of every edge of anything, because then it just makes it look like it's painting strokes, which looks really cool. And that's the end of the tutorial. I really hope you learned something. If not, then I don't know why you even follow this YouTube video. Anyways, if you like this video, please consider subscribing or at least leave a like. If you have any comments, tell me them below and I'll try to respond. And that's it. Bye.